Hi, I'm Chad with Ambic, and I'd like to introduce you to one of our distinguished technology partners here at the Ambic booth in uh, Embedded World 2025. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Alexander Mitrovic. I am the head of development team at MicroE, and also one of the persons in charge of the Clickboard product line. Um, Microelectronica as a company, it's a development tool company which exists for almost 25 years. Of course, uh, our goal, why it exists in, in, this, in this industry is to save engineers time. So we provide a whole ecosystem of development boards, um, talking about microcontroller boards, add-on boards, which uh, people can use to rapidly develop uh, a, a product or to test up some technology, like in this case, uh, Ambic ICs, RTCs. Great, and um, we've been working together for quite some time. Uh, every time I see you at events all over the globe, I'm always interested to ask you this question. So how many microE clickboards are in the ecosystem today? Well, I can say a lot, but never enough. Uh, so uh, currently we have um, inside our ecosystem, uh -huh. uh, clipboard ecosystem, uh, we have around um, 1800 boards. 1800. Exactly. And uh, I have to say uh, with the pace of development and uh, dedication we have uh, every year, we introduce around 200 more. Correct. So really- 200 boards per year. Exactly. That's crazy. So you can count that like four or five new products uh, every week. Oh my God. Um, uh, reason uh, why we are doing that, so um, we are trying to uh, really, really service the, the industry, talking about the customers, I'm talking about all silicon vendors, module manufacturers, uh, and bring all those new technologies closer yeah. to, the, to the end users uh, as soon as possible, right? Wonderful. Yeah, that's really great. So um, talk a little bit about uh, the collaboration that you've had with Ambic. Uh, we had an excellent collaboration, started a few years ago, as, as you said. Um, uh, one of the, let's say, first engagement that we had, it was your interest into a clickboard ecosystem, the huge ecosystem, and how your SOCs could benefit uh, from it. Sure. Uh, we give our best uh, to support your 1.8 volt um, interfaces, low yes. power uh, functionality, energy harvesting. Um, uh, not sure if I, I should mention uh, all the companies involved into a sure, sure, similar pro project like, like Bosch, uh, like uh, TDK, uh, Panasonic, uh, uh, Nixperia yes. as well. Um, and I think we created really a few uh, amazing uh, proof of concept that you have on your boot uh, with your SOCs. And uh, um, the final uh, cooperation and, and recent cooperation uh, was um, involving your uh, RTCs that we develop uh, a few clickboards, uh, which will be uh, introduced very, very soon. Uh, yes. Talking about RTC 22 and 23, yes. which again are very unique products where for the first time we uh, on those RTCs, we were using the items uh, and I have to thank uh, the item company and Alex yes. uh, and his team uh, for all the support and cooperation we had where we created the first RTC, based, uh, uh, which is powered by a solid state uh, rather than lithium ion batteries. Great. So we've been working with you all kind of behind the scenes. Ambic has never been featured in your ecosystem before. We haven't had an Ambic official board. We've had instead your click sockets on many of our boards. We've designed some click boards ourselves. Uh, we have TDK uh, uh, digital microphones and analog microphones on click boards that we use on our always on uh, uh, keyword spotting and command uh, uh, and control uh, modules. So we have that on our hardware. So we've been working as uh, inside of your ecosystem for a while, but we've never really officially engaged with you until just recently on these new real-time clock uh, boards. So we're really happy that people are gonna be able to search on Ambic uh, very soon. I think by the time this video is, uh, is seen, yeah. people are gonna be able to search on Ambic and they'll be able to find those boards right on your website. Yeah, and I want to thank you for uh, recognizing the Clickboard ecosystem for the first sure. boards uh, made by Ambic uh, hosting the Microbus socket. Uh, I have to say that like uh, this is recognition to uh, to Micro as a company and uh, and uh, and the, all the work we are doing. Where currently we have like hundreds of boards with the Microbus uh, oh, yes. socket, which can accommodate right now and in the future all the Clickboards, including the RTCs that sure. will be uh, selling. Yeah, that's wonderful. And from my standpoint, as a working with you as a as a vendor, you know, I, I consider us partners. But but um, when when you know, as an RTC manufacturer, um, I found the interaction to be fantastic. 
you know, we, we provide you with samples and you guys are able to take care of the, the entire design. You made the process so simple for us. You designed the schematic, the layout. We had a chance to review it and make comments. Um, and then you take care of building those out. You provide drivers on your website and sample applications. Uh, it's, we're just thrilled with, um, with, with the, the ease of, uh, of uh, the engagement. You really made the whole process quite seamless uh, for us. So I want to thank you for that. Th th thank, you, thank you for those words because uh, we as a company, this is the reason why we exist. So uh, mm. your job as a silicon uh, vendor is of course to generate as much as possible leads, new customers, new projects. Sure. And we as a company exist to simplify your work, right? To, to make those board because this is what we are doing for almost 25 years. Sure. So you, we are always grateful when Silicon vendors are seeing as, as, as a partner, as, yes. as an external dev tool a provider, and somebody he, uh, who can uh, uplift your work uh, by you know making these boards, uh, taking care of design as you described, taking manufacturing, logistic, uh, providing these boards across the globe uh, to the broad network, uh, not only selling directly, we have a really, really strong network of distributors, I'm talking about all the catalog distributors like GDG, oh, Mauser, Arrow, uh, RS Components, DME, etc., and many locals. So if the customer requires uh, and want to buy a boarding locally, they can do that. So they okay. don't have to buy uh, from us. And also additionally, they can get the support in local. So I think that's the advantage of you know having uh, a board inside a micro ecosystem and being sold. Uh, Wonderful. Great. Well, um, what can we look forward to from Micro in the future? Where, where are you guys headed? Good question. So um, uh, right now, uh, our total focus will be on, uh, besides just making the boards, of course, we'll be still continuing to manufacture and introduce uh, around 200 plus uh, uh, boards every year. Sure. Uh, but besides that, uh, our focus is now shifting a little bit and, and uh, to our solutions. So we want to provide a full solutions to end customers address different applications okay. by using all of our tools that you just developed through the years uh, to, to, to address them and let the customers know that they, they have a like starting point and sure. to build on top of that with all the open source hardware with open source drivers they can uh, they don't have to start from zero and I think you know uh, uh, generating uh, those uh, projects and generating those articles to explain like step by step uh, every project is something we'll be focusing for the next year or so so open source software is something that you know, the world is quite familiar with you just mentioned an interesting concept, open source hardware. So do you yeah. consider your click modules to be open source hardware? Yeah, we, we provide a schematic, we provide the support. I see. Uh, all of our boards can be used by our customers to test, evaluate, sure. of course, but also to implement uh, their, uh, our hardware into their final product. So Wonderful. if they're satisfied, even if the, we can do a design uh, for, for, for the customer, if they're satisfied okay. with the prototype, for example, we can do design uh, we can customize the product uh, for, for them, sure. do certification, and you know support the customer really uh, through all the stages uh, up to a point where we also can manufacture them, package them, and provide uh, uh, for the customer or, or distribution channels. Well, that sounds fantastic. Great. Well, um, I'm really eager to show our viewers what yeah. we've been working on together. So uh, let's uh, let's go and uh, and have a look at some of the the demo platforms we built together. So Alexander, we're here at one of our demo stations at Embedded World, and um, I'd like to run through a few of our projects that we've worked on together. So this is the new energy harvesting uh, reference design called Harvest Kit that uh, we launched uh, last December, available on Ambic's website, ambic.com, as well as through uh, one of our preferred distributors, uh, DigiKey, uh, is, is uh, working with us on some uh, promotional efforts on this kit. Um, we have four microe click sockets on the board, um, and one of the things that I wanted to, to our viewers to know is that you were extremely flexible in working with us on this project, and um, these are the world's first 1.8 volt click modules. Your standard typically supports 3.3 volts and 5 volts, but you worked us to, with us to accommodate 1.8 volts to, in, in order to achieve extremely low power consumption on, uh, on this particular board. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, I, I can say that you know, clickboard standard, as, as as you know, it's pretty much defined. Sure. Uh, when it's come to functionality, voltages, interfaces, uh, size and shape as well. So uh, for this project, uh, I think it was not. Uh, 
um, a huge effort for us to support uh, you, your need, especially in, in a couple of cases where we didn't even do any uh, hardware modification in terms of PCB redesign, etc. Sure. And all the functionalities uh, to achieve uh, low power and 1.8 voltage were already supported, of course, with minor modification on, on just you know, um, the passive components which we adjusted, right? Yes. So again, we are talking about products which can even by a customer being purchased, modified, but I think for this board, uh, we also provide them on our website. So if the customer wants, you can just go buy 1.8 version rather than just buying a regular one and, and, and adjusting on, by, by, on its own. That's wonderful. And another one of the innovations that we worked on together on this board is we added this support for an additional connector to the Click uh, standard, which is famously 16 pins, two yeah. rows of eight. And you were you were uh, able to accommodate our request to add two additional pins, which is this additional uh, header here. Uh, these this is the world's first click module that actually provides power to the host board. So generally, the host board is powering up the click module. Power flows from the board to the click. In this case, power is flowing from the click module back to the board because we've got a solar cell on board. So uh, so really enjoyed working with you on that and appreciate the accommodation. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. So. Um, Cool. I wanted to mention that Harvest Kit is available now um, with the three modules shown here. There's a uh, Nexperia uh, PMIC uh, that's doing uh, the the uh, the solar cell uh, charging of the super cap on the board, and then we have uh, TDK uh, IMU, the world's lowest power six axis IMU, um, along with a Bosch BME six eight eight, which is doing environmental sensing, temperature, um, uh, pressure. Um, gas sensing, it's a very nice uh, part. So this is a full kit with, uh, the, with three modules included. The board is also available as a general purpose uh, uh, development board for our Apollo uh, 3 Blue SOC, along with our real-time clock for doing edge computing applications. Whether they involve uh, energy harvesting or not, um, this is a handy board for our customers to, uh, to try out any of the 1800 modules in the Click ecosystem that will be uh, compatible with this board and they can plug into the four available sockets. So a really handy, uh, handy tool for our mutual uh, customers to engage with. So uh, enjoyed, uh, enjoyed working on that project together. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, the new RTC module that we've been working on together. Yeah, of course. So the the, the project started uh, last year, um, and of course we we um, wanted to support um, uh, two different ICs sure. uh, and the um, RTCs uh, from Ambic. Uh, first version of the board has the lithium ion battery, and of course for the functionality testing and uh, uh, by the customer and the uh, performance testing of the IC, I think it's 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 uh, a good product. However, um, Ambic introduced us to um, ITIN, where uh, uh, we were offered uh, to partner uh, and include uh, ITIN solid st state um, uh, battery uh, uh, for the first time on the clickboard to achieve low power energy efficiency uh, for the projects uh, like energy harvesting kit or, or, or similar. And I think this is a great product that uh, soon we'll see on the market. Excellent. And yeah, by the time this uh, this video is released, um, customers will be able to hit your website. They'll be able to search on Ambic or or drill down into your RTCs. And I think this is RTC number twenty two and number twenty three in your portfolio. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Micro renaming, but yeah. yes, <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, and there is a separate video, by the way, that we've recorded with i10. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, your, or your customers uh, want to learn a little bit more about solid state batteries and, and kind of their features and benefits, you, they can watch that other video uh, on the Ambic YouTube channel. So the final comment I want to make is that um, we're so thrilled with the interactions that we've had with MicroE, we've decided to put your click uh, connector on every evaluation board that we build from here on out, because we love the fact that our customers can rapid prototype and include any kind of sensor, microphones from our partner TDK, IMUs, time of flight modules, um, you name it. You guys have so many type of components in your ecosystem, and they can plug right onto our evaluation board. This is the new Apollo 510 evaluation board. Uh, it won best in show in the hardware category here at Embedded World uh, last year in 2024. Um, we now have the final uh, development board for it which uh, will be available uh, broadly, probably just after this video is, uh, is airing um, in the late uh, April 2025 timeframe. So early prototype here that went out to some of our partners. But, um, but yes, on this board and all of our future boards, we're planning to include that, uh, that click 
interface because we love the rapid prototyping, the ease of development, um, and ease of, uh, of uh, you know, kind of accessibility. It's, you don't have to wire up a lot of things, uh, you know, and make this, you know, rat's nest of, of wires just to connect up a sensor, just just plug it right on there and, uh, and, and, and evaluate um, something quickly and easily from your portfolio. Yeah, th 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 thank you for that, uh, th those words. And uh, yeah. I think you, uh, we already discussed and I meant, we mentioned that, you know, recognizing microbus and the value of microbus is, and uh, thank you for adding them and including sure. on, on, on your development board, is, is making your evaluation boards and development boards uh, uh, easier to use and having a greater value. Uh, because, you know, expanding to a huge ecosystem, easy to use and simple boards. And also I have to mention that Micro is providing open source uh, drivers for all these boards. So you yes. know, there is a, a plenty of software packages that customer can rely on for every individual sensor, module, or, or, or pod that we offer inside our ecosystem. Yeah, that's so wonderful. I think, exactly. The so, hardware is only half the story, so having exactly. that software available is key. Exactly. So I think that, that that's also uh, uh, one of the key points and, yep. and uh, uh, leverages and, and, and um, uh, value that we provide uh, with, within uh, this ecosystem. Excellent. Well, we're, we're looking forward to uh, helping our joint customers do more edge computing, um, bring more AI onto the edge, and uh, and and bring in uh, sensor data for processing on our uh, highly efficient SOCs through uh, through your uh, massively popular interface. So, uh, really enjoyed the collaboration so far, and really looking forward to the new things coming uh, from the relationship in the future. Same. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.